But who better than me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Base Talks. Um, I don't often do a lot of these like post fight. Uh, I've had a couple, not necessarily on this channel before, but yeah. Um, there was only two people that I can remember that came to the media center after their fights um, yesterday. It was Francesca Hennessy and there was Jack Massey. So I, I want to salute obviously Jack Massey for coming out and, and uh, talking to the media as well. But yeah, um, Francesca is the only person I spoke with and we had a we had a, uh, an interesting conversation. I feel like it was a very heartfelt one and it was different to the other chats that obviously she had done um, post fight so because of that I definitely wanted to get it out here and upload it so yeah uh, please enjoy leave your comments and I will catch you guys afterwards this is Base the Kid the hardcore casual and I'm delighted to once again be joined by Fran Hennessy after a very hard fought victory against Dorata Norek um, Fran first of all how did you find that Oh, great fight, you know, a tough fight. That, these are the fights you need to keep learning and progressing in your career. Dorota, I think she had about eight, nine weeks notice, so she came to win. She didn't come to just get in there and, you know, she's got a winning record. And what fight, you know, great fight and a great entertainment for the supporters. So. I kind of want to start from the end and then work our way sort of back to the start of the event. But um, I saw at the end, like, he was really emotional post, uh, post fight. Um, conference and uh, interview um, saying that your nan had passed and that kind of touched me because uh, my dad literally passed away yesterday so it's it's fine but the reason I say that is because I can understand what it's like to you know be doing something when your mind's elsewhere so I just want to kind of know that like, how have you dealt with that emotional process while you've had to train for a fight on such a big stage? Look, first of all, I just want to say I'm really, really sorry for your loss. I can't imagine what you're going through at the minute and my condolences are with you. Um, but yeah, no, as you're probably doing right now, we, we've got to get on and do it for them and know they're on our shoulder every step of the way. And that's that's what I've done for my nan today. You know, she was like my best friend. So um, yeah, I just like, as you're probably feeling at the minute, you just got to do it, try and make them proud. and. That, that's it really but yeah it's hard and I'm really really sorry to hear about your dad that must be awful no, look I do appreciate that I want to keep it on you though this is your moment like I said very hard fought fight and um, funny enough I was up in the press box looking at it and as I was heading off to the bathroom I said to someone I think she's got this one 77 75 and then I heard the, the scores and okay I still know how to score a fight pretty well what was it about the fight that sort of you gonna learn learn from that well, what what did she do in there that maybe you hadn't experienced before you wasn't ready for you had to readjust uh, just sort of talk us through how the fight played out for you do you know what she she came she came to win didn't she she came to ru try rough me up try you know pull me down I think these opponents they see I'm 19 and they think oh, I'm gonna get her you know I'm gonna be stronger than her and stuff so um yeah it was just a good experience in a sense she came to really win today she had as I said before eight nine weeks notice so she had the same amount of time as I had and uh, we both got in there put on a show and um, fair play to her, really fair play to her because yeah, she's a tough woman. But I just I knew I'd be, you know, I knew from what I'd went through and how hard I've trained in camp that no one she she wasn't going to beat me today and I'd I'd come out better in it. But uh, fair play to her, really fair play to her. You've got a very strong mentality. I, I want to ask this fight. Do you feel like you've probably learned more from this fight than your other three, or do you feel like it's equal? Like, where would you rank this in terms of your test thus far? Oh, definitely learned the most from this fight. You know, the other girls I thought, you know, my debut. She came to fight and she came, you know, to. But my um, last two, I feel like they was on the back foot and kind of, you know, credit respect to them. I respect anyone who gets in the ring, but. They, I didn't feel like they came to, you know, win. Whereas this girl today, she really came to win and she, she, she wanted it. Like, so I've learned a lot from that. And I've eight rounds. I'm 19 years of age. I'm on my fourth fight and I'm having eight rounds like that with a, a girl who's got a winning record. You know, a, a tough woman actually. So um, I'm gonna learn so much from this. 
I know that you're someone that always wants to impress, always wants to improve. Um, what kind of advice or what, what comments did uh, Bradley give you after the fight? Things that he's looking at that he liked, he didn't like. Sort of let us know what he's looking to correct for the for the next fight moving forward. To be honest, after the fight, he just said like he was proud of me because he saw what I went through in camp. You know, those days I had to come in and be crying or be feeling emotional. Um, he really pushed me through, my dad pushed me through, and I'm very grateful for them. Um, I don't think I'd be able to get through it without them. So um, just they're just all saying they're proud of me because they saw what I went through in camp. But um, there's things I can definitely work on. That's, the, that's why that fight's good for me because she's game and it's going to show me things I can work on. So that, that was why it was brilliant. But um, they were, I'm sure after this fight, we'll sit down, watch the fight back talk about all the things we need to work on and go in the gym and really, really graft on getting better with them. Now, look, I know you like to almost steal the show with the ring walks. Um, you, you, I mean, we can't, you haven't seen the entire show yet, but you're up there, you're in the running. What was the thought process behind Soldier Boy and Superman? Because there is a, you know, there's sort of, there's more relevant, maybe uh, newer dances you could have thought of. Like, what was that one for, for you and what, did, what significance did that have? To be honest, I just like the song. It's like, a, like I like the bop in it. And, uh, but it was my, shout out to my cousin Karis. You know, she helped, she's a dancer. She helped me with that dance, just putting like, together a little easy dance that I could pull off. Uh, for my ring walk so she was like I think Soldier Boy would be good so she helped me put that together so to be honest there was nothing behind it I just like these old school songs so yeah Fair enough well look I, I don't want to take up too much more of your time again it was a really good performance um, what's next for you uh, I mean I'm assuming you might have a bit of a holiday a bit of a break let your let your mind settle but sort of what, what are you looking for for the rest of 2024 I'm looking for more fights you know keeping active uh, I'm only 19 I need to keep active keep getting this experience keep getting fights like that you know to keep helping me learn and push on so hopefully I'll be out August September I'm hoping okay well look Fran thank you very much for your time again really good really strong performance I'm sure this is going to benefit you immensely moving forward and I can't wait to see what you do next but thank you for your time thank you very much appreciate it so yeah, uh, big up Francesca Hennessy, uh, Fran Hennessy. Uh, she tells me that yeah, you can call me whichever one you want. Um, you know what? What you kind of don't see at the end of that is obviously we we spoke very briefly, and she actually uh, she came. She's like, oh no, I'll come. And she went and she gave me a hug, which was it was that was cute. That was that was appreciated. It was nice. It was warming. I wasn't expecting that, and obviously I didn't say what I said for any form of sympathy it was literally just to kind of say like i understand how you must be feeling in this time and you've persevered i wanted to just understand her mentality and how she was able to kind of get through camp but the fact that she even reversed it back onto me was you know it was appreciated and it was it shows that she is a genuine person and she's she is a nice girl i've i've said it before like she's all she's very bubbly and she's always personable i just wasn't really sold until i spoke to her for the first time a couple months back and then yeah she she's she's an infectious personality and as i said uh in the in the um the weekend rap she's she's got a, a new supporter uh in me and uh, yeah it was appreciated but yeah leave your comments down below let me know what you thought um it was a good fight that she had uh against the retinorak um I think it's going to really sort of bring her on leaps and bounds. She's going to learn a lot from that. And she's young, so she's there's enough in there to sort of, you know, um, iron out some of the mistakes that were seen. Um, and again, it is good that I, I still know how to judge a fight. Because again, as I was saying to, to Ra, um, I bet that I've seen she's won this fight 77, 70, uh, 75, five rounds to three went to the bathroom and then they're like yep that's that was a scorecard so good stuff but yeah uh don't forget to um like subscribe and share and i will catch you guys on the next base talks but until then peace